Yeah, hello. Doing another project update. <clears throat> this is uh, uh, working on the motor drivers or the step motor drivers for my CNC milling machine. Uh, I've got one built. It's running. Uh, it's just a rough hookup to a uh, Mega 644. This is the chip I plan on building my controller around, but uh, there's going to be a lot more circuitry in between. Um, I, gotta, I don't have the I.O. space to really properly do four motors, so it's going to be um, multiplexed, I guess you could call it, with ship registers uh, and a few different things to make, the t make sure the timing works out right. Um, but at the moment, it's just doing a basic cycle on the uh, driver, I'm moving a motor back and forth um, with acceleration and deceleration, according to uh, sine wave, actually. Uh, I built a really, really basic lookup table using Excel. But yeah, speeds up and slows down nicely. Motor's got lots of torque. Uh, the driver is based around a 74HC240 uh, octal tri-state inverting buffer. And then there is an L293D. And then my driving transistors in the back are a series of uh, TIP 2955s. So those are uh, PNP. Um, here for protection diodes, I'm using these massive oversized overkill, like, I think they're like 8 amp or 6 amp rectifiers. Um, looks nice on top. Of course, the nightmare is underneath. And this is one of four that I have to build by hand. Um, using nice 16 gauge wire for... Uh, all the bus on the back, so it'll handle tons of current. The transistors are rated for like 90 watts if you put a heat sink on them. Um, and I can push the push or pull bases at uh, 600 milliamps with that L293. So these things will drive massive steppers, um, relatively speaking. So the code is just on a basic routine, running the, running the motor back and forth um, at varying speed. Up here is just two of the outputs on the microcontroller, so I can take a look at the pulse timing, which is actually balanced quite nicely. And of course you can see the varying width, um, which means it's going at different speeds. Um, I have a basic schematic. There's, uh, you know, the four primary inputs. I will pull down resistors. I've got a power indicator LED and all kinds of good stuff going on. Uh, the, the 240 chip is just being used as a buffer um, to, pr to protect the microcontroller from the inputs on the L293, just in case something happens. Uh, all the indicator LEDs, of course, and everything's all situated with pull-up and pull-down resistors everywhere, so that everything defaults to off-state. Um, here I'm showing a relay that's going to be in between the driver and the motors because this machine is going to be manual or CNC operation. Uh, so I figure a good idea to be able to disconnect the motors because your hands are going to move them a lot faster. So they'll send a lot of power back to the driver. It could blow something. Um, my indicator LEDs, that's a, a table for them. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, one, two, three, and four states. Then there's an enable, motor power good, logic power good, and a CPU heart LED. Um, that's just for whatever random purpose for indicating something. I might make them pulsate or show direction of the motor, whatever. It's just an extra leftover indicator. Uh, but that's where I am at the moment. So hopefully I'll have three of these motors going to move the X, Y, and Z, and uh, I'm also going to be... Oh, mess. <laughs> Too much mess. I'm also going to be strapping a motor onto the rotary table. I figured it was just too useful of a tool, uh, so I'm going to put a motor on there as well. So that's why. 